I wanted to do an easier project this time around, so I decided to make the deck of cards as emoji faces. I have excluded all the sad emoji faces and the crying ones, because when I made the reference image I was grieving, so <laughs> I did not want to include those uh, emojis, I just because I was doing this as a distraction. Um, when I did the reference image you see um, there. Uh, so, where it's the sheet with all the little circles in it and what, and that. So, <laughs> here I am. And for this one, I plan on making the red cards have a lighter background and the dark or in the black cards will have a darker background. So, the ones with the purple background are black cards and the ones with the pink and the blue background are the, um, red cards. So, here I am just placing the cards onto a canvas here, um, and when I went to go put this down so that I could, you know, do some more cards, um, uh, my cat was <laughs> sitting on it, uh, because she likes sitting on plastic. So, and because I'm using, like, a canvas that's still in the, the plastic covering, she was trying to sit on this. Thankfully, by the time she did, all the paint was pretty much dry. So, <laughs> there's that. And you will notice I'm also outlining each of the cards, either in black or red, uh, to add, like, a notification of, hey, that's a red card, hey, that's a black card. Uh, just for fun, I wanted to see what it would turn out like. Um, and I did include all the emojis because there's actually over 52 face emojis. Um, and that's what I was focusing on for this one. Um, and so there is plenty of options for using um, emojis for making a deck of cards. So there's that. <laughs> And I think as I was filming this, it stopped because I had, you know, I was down to 15%, so the time lapse stopped abruptly uh, because I was down to 15% on a uh, device. Um, so I found that this part was really fun. I enjoyed making the drawing on top of the uh, cards um, way more than I enjoyed the prep of this. And the drawing portion took a lot less than the prep portion of it. Um, so there's that. And you may have noticed I just whited out the money symbol I one uh, for the emoji that's supposed to like represent riches. Um, because I had done it in black and then I'm like, mm, I don't like it. I'm going to do it in green like it has on the, um, like the original emoji is. Here I am doing the zipper emoji thing. Uh, and with that money one, I think it was better that I changed it out. And so I added that extra black shadowing because I messed up the circle. <laughs> and in case you missed my previous video, I was using a white container of um, Deco Art Crafters Acrylic paint for the tracer of um, the circle. The same white I used to do that same bottle of paint I used to white out where the circle is kind of thing so that it, the yellow popped a little bit more, you know, especially on the darker colors. So there's that. Here I am just adjusting now that I have the other colors because I did not get those out earlier. So I'm just, you know, adding some final touches, added the green onto the, uh, money eyes emoji so I think it looks a lot better there and here I am getting more cards out and adding some more emojis so <laughs> this was really fun and these are incredibly easy to do if you want to do this yourself um, so you just like you prime the card and then you use something that you can find as a circle tracer and then you draw, then you paint yellow on top of it, and yeah, the celebration emoji. What I was about to say is the celebration emoji is probably my favorite one. Now, I didn't realize this one with the glasses on it um, was not on camera, 
Uh, so I apologize. Um, but that was when I realized that uh, I had, you know, run out of battery life kind of thing. So here I am just completing more emojis and everything. And I was half tempted to, when I did the nerd emoji, I think that's what it's supposed to be, to sort of add a lightning bolt. I was half tempted, um, but I didn't. I restrained myself. Um, I mean, I'm not as big of a Harry Potter fan as my dad, but I was very tempted to um, do that. Uh, I just didn't, so, oh well. <laughs> and here I am. Uh, I think this is mostly the black cards that I'm working on now. So here I am just trying all the different ones and some of them I did mess up and it was like I kind of combined two of the like faces together so like I think for the one that's got the um the half circle eyebrow thing I think I messed up and it was supposed to be what is beside it. Um, that was the face I was supposed to do, but, oh well, I messed up. <sighs> but, you know, it's been a little while since, so I don't remember if that is actually the one I messed up on. And, so, I think it's okay. <laughs> Here I am just adding more color to all the other emojis and finishing it all up. Here, like so. And then, now I'm adding them to a pile so what I'm using in case you don't know is an oil-based paint um, marker sharpie brand name which I find are pretty juicy so it works out really well I think that's how you describe that so I really like them I feel like there's more juicy than the craft smart ones um, but maybe that's just me maybe it's because the craft smart ones are paint markers and these ones are oil uh, based uh, but anyway, uh, but you get more color selection with the Craft Smart ones. And they're like the uh, more affordable brand of paint markers because Posca paint markers can be pretty pricey. So Craft Smart is m the more affordable alternative. But I haven't seen Craft Smart have like fine tip um, paint markers before. So all I can find are these like blunt. Uh, nib ones if that's the right word to describe that um, so that's like the downside because I don't know I mean maybe they do sell them and they just don't sell them at the locations I at the the Michaels locations I've shopped at but uh, anyway <laughs> here I am just fixing up the cards putting on the borders um, you know covering up if there was any like white spots that were left over and then also adjusting where I put the white out uh, because sometimes the white out was kind of fuzzy around the edges if that makes any sense. Um, I think if you've used white out to paint with you know what I'm talking about um, somewhat. So anyway, so I'm just doing some final touches here. And then so the prep work and the taping of the cards took so long Yet the fun part it takes the least amount of time. And here I am taking the tape off the cards. And, you know, at the time I was like, am I going to reuse this? And then I quickly, and then I decided after that that, you know what? No, I'm not going to reuse this paint, this tape. Uh, I have a ton of tape and you can easily get it from the dollar store. It's not that expensive. So <laughs> I ended up bowling it up and putting it off to the side. And I ended up with like an egg-shaped tape bowl at the end. Um, so, there's that. Oh, and the celebration emoji, my favorite. Because it has the most color out of all of the emojis. The celebration one. I say it's celebration one, but I usually often use it for like birthday stuff. Um, but it really works for any kind of celebration type of thing. Uh, but anyway, that's one of my favorite emojis. That and the like sunglasses emoji that's supposed to be like cool and like, um, you know, kind of representing like, oh, I feel cool, like, like a cool guy or whatever. Anyway, um, I like the sunglasses one because I wear sunglasses on a daily basis, um, pretty much. <laughs> I either always have them on my face or on my head. 
and as I'm recording this, I have actually a pair of sunglasses on my head using it as a headband. So, yeah, those are my two favorite emojis out of the emojis I've decided to include in this deck and everything. Though the sunglass emoji is not as, like, the one I used in this one is not what I'm envisioning when I'm thinking of sunglass emoji. Um, but anyway, uh, so I guess I'm going to go with that and, and the angel one. I really like the angel one. I think that one's, that one's sweet. Um, and everything. So, there's that. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. It's almost done. So, thank you for staying till the end. And I'll have a separate, another video where I tape, untape the rest of the cards. So, I really hope you enjoy. I know it's coming to an end. Thank you for watching.